at the top of the chart, I, I mentioned a number of the, the actual cloud names. So these kind of go everything from sort of private to uh, you know edge cloud. I've even heard that being mentioned. Polycloud, which is an interesting one. Uh, and you've got things like multi-cloud and, and cross-cloud. Now we're gonna we're not gonna be able to cover all of those, uh, but essentially uh, multi-cloud. I think everybody's aware of that. Edge is kind of you know extending your your cloud onto the sort of the edge of your uh, environment. Um, cross-cloud is essentially where you run the same application on multiple clouds. Now I don't know if anybody's brave enough to do that, but hey, it's it's out there. It's a term. <laughs> And maybe somebody's doing it. If you're actually anybody's watching this who is actually doing that, please let us know in the comments. <laughs> that'll be that'll be quite interesting to know. I'd love to hear about that. Now, the interesting one that I heard through a, a colleague of mine um, who is actually a, a regular on the on the channel, Paul, just saying hello, uh, Paul Bevan. Uh, he mentioned the, the the term polycloud, and I said, well, you got to explain what that means to me. And essentially, what it means is your investment or, or all your main applications are in one cloud but you're using another cloud for a specific application mm -hmm. so it's very app specific kind of approach so maybe you're using kind of BigQuery in you know in, in google uh, in google cloud for example but all your other applications are in aws or, or azure or something like that and that would be kind of that kind of make it a, a sort of a poly cloud approach i won't go into any like more that, details uh... on that because I'm sure people are going to disagree with it, but sorry, go ahead. No, I was going to say that I actually see that a fair amount. I work a lot with governments and okay. it is, it is. So you do, you want to, if we think of cloud only as IaaS, only as infrastructure, then yeah. it's more commoditized. Right. But as we crawl the stacks of the offerings, there are unique and good things where, you know, if, consider Azure because you have O365, if that's your yeah. organization. I may not want to host everything else there. I might want to go to Google because of their incredible math, right? And their yeah. data oriented applications. Yeah. Well, I see people making those very smart decisions mm -hmm. and not investing all in one cloud, but they're also not spinning up a workload and moving the workload back and forth. It's not, right. I'm in Google today and I can get a better price tomorrow in Azure. So I'll move right. the workload there. Right. And the next day I move it over to IBM and the next day I move it over to AWS. Yeah. That's not the case. That is more of the multi-cloud philosophy exactly. of being exactly. able to commoditize. But as you crawl the stack, the more yeah. that you leverage from those cloud providers, the more you're going to be able to live in that poly cloud world. So I, I really like that term. Yeah, I, I have to say it, it, it kind of took some time to, you know, to, to grow on me, but it, it has, and I do agree with that.